Hi, my name is Tanya Reagan, President of Wildcat Management. We are continuing our walking tour in the Farmer's Market District. We are now in front of the historical Liberty State Bank building. What's unique about the historical Liberty State Bank building is the building actually was previously located over on Cesar Chavez and Elm and was at risk of being torn down. The building was actually relocated to the farmer's market and the site that you see now. The building was built in the late 1800s and relocated to this site a year ago today. Downstairs we have, of course, Green Door Public House, our first restaurant in the neighborhood, and upstairs we have V12 Yoga. So we're going to go inside and we are going to meet both of those local businesses and hear about why they decided to come to the farmer's market and make this their home. We are now at V12 Yoga with Ade Hazley. We are so excited to have V12 to the neighborhood. Of course, they're in this beautiful building with these awesome views of the city. Ade, tell us a little bit about V12 Yoga and your history in finding this location and what made you come to the farmer's market. Well, um, for a while, we, we were um, with Farmer's Market during our camps, with Rockstar Fitness Camps, and that was um, beginning in 2009. So um, we ran our camps here, and we always loved the area and the community with the, everyone being around in the new development. So my wife and I, we always wanted to have our own yoga studio. Um, just a bit um, of history, um, my, the V12 Yoga comes from my wife's name is Veronica Torres, so, and we always joked with her about moving a lot. <laughs> and so V12 is like the engine with the car so that's how it came about and let's press fast forward and bring us to where we are now um, with the camps and also yoga um, she was walking through the farmers market and I, I speak I believe she spoke with Jesse with Le Papa mm -hmm. and he told her that it was a development coming here at the same time we were manifesting our own yoga studio and so it's a great area because I've already had Rockstar Fitness here and so once that started to come about and when they told us about the building which was developed in the 18 and 1890s I believe it was the old bank and you guys were going to move the building so why not take that chance we're chance takers so and included with the community why not do that so that's what brought us over here what do you think is so unique and special about the farmer's market versus maybe other neighborhoods in the area or downtown? Well, being in the fitness industry, um, I always think first health and fitness because you can't do anything without health and fitness and with having fresh produce and things like that at the farmer's market and feeling alive and part of the earth, that's the next step is to progress, so why not be close to that? And that's where it, it, it's a special thing and also it's urban right here in the city so now we have something that's not a, a desert area now we have somewhere to go that we can have um, healthy food and also have fun and meet new people because of the new restaurants coming and things mm -hmm. like that so that's what's so unique about the, the farmers market to me what do you think of the transition and changes taking place with the market moving more towards a local farmers market and back to local farmers well I really um, am appreciative of that because why not give to our local farmers here rather than going outside of um, the, the jurisdiction of what Dallas and DFW and when we can also keep that revenue here and make that circle so people can come out of the things that there are as far as being a business owners and being accomplished and things that they do. You mentioned earlier community. You know, one thing that's very special about this neighborhood is a strong sense of community. Now we have residents moving to the area. Uh, are you seeing that with oh, your with yeah. your business? Absolutely. We see. We we have about anywhere from five to ten new people who come to the yoga studio just because they're moving in, in the new area and the new development. Sorry, around um, the farmers market. And then also, again, with the fresh produce, people are able to walk over there. And then with the development, the new development we would like to see what's going on so now I get to explain to people what's going on and it's so exciting to me because uh, as 
a member of the community, I want to see change and development for the better. Mm -hmm. You know, it's interesting being in your space. I've done yoga here. Of course, I know both you and Veronica. And, you know, the sunrise, sunset, looking at these beautiful skyline yes. views of the city. I yes, mean, it's pretty, absolutely. pretty amazing. Um, what do you want the public to know about your business? How do they get in contact with you? How do they find you? And what would be your suggestion for somebody who wanted to come and do yoga at B12? To get in contact with us, you reach us on any platforms social media, Instagram, V12 Yoga, you can go Facebook, V12 Yoga, Google Plus, V12 Yoga, you name it, we're on every platform. Um, you also can reach us by email or calling 214-280-1708. Um, another thing about the, the Bay Windows I would like to hit on that, uh, the sense of community because no one can build a building by themselves. You always have to have that contractor, uh, general contractor. He goes to get the plumber. He goes to get um, the person who's going to lay the slab. And from then on, well, when you look out these windows, you see that. And then that sense of community and, and growth is there. So when you come do yoga, we talk about that. And that brings us together and brings that camaraderie and makes it strong. Well, thank you, Ade. We are so excited to have V12 in the neighborhood. You're such a great addition to the community, and thank you for your time today. Absolutely. Absolutely.